had a unique grasp on the English language. <laughs> and, and he would say things, and, and words that I've heard my whole life lived in the South, but they just sounded new when Melvin would say them. Melvin would say words like weren't. Now those of you not familiar with weren't, weren't, it's like if something has no hope, it's weren't. You know, anything up to that point, there's a little hope left. It's weren't, forget about it, okay? And, and he was, you know, it was one of his favorites. But, but he said something one time in a conversation, uh, and, and as soon as I heard it, I thought, man, there's a song in that. And so I finally got around to writing this, and I managed to squeeze the word weren't in the song. I, um, Carolina Blue's supposed to put this on their new album. I don't know if they'll use the word weren't, but that was, uh, that's, that's my poetic license, but I'll sing it for you today. I had a job at the foundry, good pension and pay. The market turned sound, and they closed it last May. Never won for a hand down. We're standing in a soup line. So I started making hillbilly moonshine. I was headed to Danville, had my trunk loaded down. Stopped by the sheriff on the way out of town. Well, they slapped the cuffs on me, so bid you freedom farewell. We're checking you into the crossbar motel. <laughs> well, the crossbar motel.